Originally, I started making handlebars for my friends. I'd get material from Scooter Zone and just start welding bars just for the sake of writing what we could get available. Eventually, the idea of just making a company out of it just came about. My name is Chris Gascoigne. I'm 28 years old. I've been riding scooters since 2001. I got into riding scooters because my bike got stolen and it was the closest thing to a scooter at the time. I'm John Radke. I've been riding scooters pretty much as long as Chris. I got into scootering because my friend got a scooter and I learned how to tail whip and it's been an addiction ever since. John and I both had really wanted to do something that was ours. And around September of 2013 when we started, I was at a crossroads. I was building websites, doing a lot of social media stuff, doing stuff on WordPress, just turning out kind of mediocre websites for cash. I decided that I wanted something more and something different. And what better time than now to chase what you always wanted. So that's when I kicked John in the ass to weld some bars and I did pretty much anything else that I could to get us to where we are. About a year and a half after we kind of started welding shit in the garage, <laughs> that's when we really kind of saw the growth that we are still kind of riding out today. The 2016 was a shitty year for a lot of people, but it was definitely a good year for us. Yeah, absolutely. We saw a lot of growth, and we actually were able to hire quite a few more people on, and yeah, we're stoked to be able to do that. One of the things that we have the opportunity to do is, you know, hire scooter riders. Uh, we have Jared Bruns. We have Nick Dontelli. Devin Pelfrey. And Monkey, Robert McMorrin, that work here. And it's an opportunity for us and for them either have the opportunity to work here or have some part of, in the brand. I know that we really pride ourselves on being by riders and for riders, and, and by hiring nothing but riders that, that enables us to do that to a different degree than, say, other companies who it's just some dude at the top who doesn't really ride, who is just in it for cash, who just hires riders to kind of make his decisions because he doesn't know, and he capitalizes on other people and he takes advantage of them. And we take advantage of our guys totally, but we give back to them in, in a meaningful and substantial way. A good instance of really taking care of our guys in a meaningful way. Nick Donatelli, who rides for us and works for us, recently quit his job. Uh, he was working for a stainless steel place and he really didn't like his job. Like today, he walked up to me, he's like, yo man, can I take a week off to, to go on this trip to New Mexico? He just found out about it five minutes ago. And he was like, yeah dude, go, go do your thing. Shit. Go to New Mexico. What's that? We're going to New Mexico. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You went to school for welding for a number of years. You got to learn a bunch of different processes, right? Yeah, I went, I went from when I was uh, 18, and I stopped going when I was 21, and I ran out of classes. Oh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> I went to RCC for a bit out here. I took their TIG course and a stick course. Alongside that, I got to work here and John taught me in his garage. I got to learn a lot. And then while we were doing Affinity, I took other welding jobs and I got to learn through a lot of real world experience. So it was good. Welding is, it takes a lot of skill, but it also takes a lot of research. You need to know exactly what you're doing to the metal when you're welding it. And you need to know what alloy the metal is and how it's gonna react. You need to know what steps to take if you're gonna weld a certain alloy or what steps to take after you're done welding. It's it's a lot of science and skill. There's been a few people that have hit us up on Instagram that kind of got inspired by what we do here with welding, and they've kind of decided to pursue that themselves. Some of them just were already into welding and saw that we were doing it, and it was just kind of a connection of, hey, you're a welder, I'm a welder too, and I think what you're doing is awesome. Kai Gonzalez decided to hit us up and see if he could come out here and take some classes. Obviously anybody who was willing to come out here and learn and 
have an open mind, we're going to teach how to weld. It's something that we really enjoy doing. It's just spreading knowledge. Teach you how to fish. Yeah, it's just cool to see more scooter riders that are kind of getting into welding. Not only from us, but just just as a fellow welder, it's cool to see. Welding changed my life. It gave me the opportunity to go beyond myself and learn something and and create something. First, Chris Chris has a few sources for our material, but they're all domestic. Uh, we'll put in an order and they'll deliver it by truck. Um, we'll have a couple dudes unload. So once that's unloaded, we have it in our material racks. We'll pull it up in bundles, put on a bandsaw, start cutting them up. From there we'll put it in buckets, take it back to our spinning stations. We'll polish all of our bars. Then from there we'll take it over to our, our pressing machine and our mill. So we'll press the end, notch it with an end mill, and then we bring it all over to the table and wall it up. Wipe them all down with acetone, and then we'll take them out to powder. From powder coat, they get brought to our other shop where they get stickered, netted, packaged, and sent off to dealers. Finally to you. So I'm really excited for what 2017 has to offer. We have been able to release clamps. Those have been designed since last February. We're coming out with forks this year, hopefully. We've had a steel fork designed for quite a while. You may have seen it on Instagram, on on my scooter, on John Devrin's, Stephen Pelfrey's, Ellie Arnold's, and a couple other dudes. We also have plans for a bar end that gives you the option to uh, lengthen your bars. We have a few tool designs that we're working on as, as well. We have an EDC tool that is laser cut. Yep. Has a five six half inch and a bottle opener. Yup. Yeah, we're really just trying to think of things that scootering is missing or it could be improved on and try our hand at it and test the shit out of it. Yo, make good shit, make good strides to getting good shit out to you. Super excited to bring out new stuff, especially those clamps that we just dropped. You can get them at Volt. Yeah, we definitely want to thank everybody who supported us throughout the years. People who have, you know, even gotten a pair of bars from their homie secondhand. I don't care how you got it. As long as you're riding our shit, we're both stoked. Uh, I'm excited about all that shit. I'm super stoked for the Vault to give us this opportunity. Without the Vault, we probably wouldn't be as big as we are. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who's bought just our bars and who support us yeah. and everything we're going to make. When you buy our shit, you're not only supporting us making more good shit, you're supporting writers, you're supporting people that, you know, want to basically live their life on the scooter. We got, you know, all these dudes back here that these this guys, is their job, is scootering. These so. guys work their asses off to, to, to build you shit, and so do we. We've worked our asses off and gone through all kinds of shit to, to try and bring you guys something that we, we think is really badass, so thank you.